Hi, it's Esther from the Trucking Scribe. Today we're working on day 12, a Kamsuri house. Basically, it's a porcelain where they break porcelain and they put it back together with gold glue. So this is the house I made with the pocket. And I'm going to show you how I put that together. So I hope you stay for the video. If you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment what you think about this kind of a house. It looks like cobblestone to me. Thank you and have a great day. Today is day number 12 of, of the December Rimber 2023 hosted by Louise Hansel and Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. So I'm going to be working on a Kinzui house. And what I'm thinking, I'm on this book page, and I had, I wrote her name down, Anne Ken, Kenlin, Lillian, it, um, I didn't get her last name, and Natasha all have things that inspired me today. What I'm going to do is I'm using the book page. First, I'm going to trim it down. I tried this a while ago, and I had it was too high. This will go in another journal really good, or even in here, but as a journal, a pocket or something. Because I want my house to have a roof. So what I've got is book page. I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier and a little bit shorter on this one. Yeah. I've got book page. And now I'm trying to figure out how in the world am I going to get this small enough. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to make this smaller by about, I don't know, Maybe half an inch because I want to cut it into a puzzle. I want all my edges. It's hard to go the other way. So I want this. Go right there. I'm going to save that little piece. First, I'm going to glue this down. So that it gives it some more strength. I'm trying this glue today. Maybe I'll do better than I have been doing. So I just took a book page and it is very small because my journal is small and I want to have proportions. So maybe about three by three. It's a crooked square, so and this, I'm probably going to have to make it smaller because what I'm wanting to do is make this into a puzzle. So let's see. Yeah, I think I want just a little bit shorter. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it randomly. So then I'm putting my puzzle back together with some space. I inked up these pieces. I don't think I have a matching here. That match, I don't think so. Maybe it does. 
Okay. Well, I think that might work. Let's see. I don't know why I'm worried about it matching too much because. I don't know if I need another little piece right there or not. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down and see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm trying to make like a the mason box where they just kind of fit in here and give a little space, but yet they still work together. I do think I'm going to need some more on the other side just because. It looks uneven. Yeah, I can put one right here. That looks a little better. Let's see. I can't tear this right down the middle. So what I'm going to do is take my hot glue gun, and it's going to be my mortar or cement, whatever that is that goes in the middle, to hold these bricks together. I'm using the tiniest little bits of pieces just to give more interest to my. There we go. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and see if I can do this better. I'll hold it and just let that just kind of flow out. Don't get in too big of a hurry like I am. I'm gonna put some more right there. So you can see all these little places where I'm adding more and more glue. And I'm actually going to hot glue it onto the page. So I have a pocket behind it. So the Kensu house is, from what I could tell, it's a house that has been, or not a house, but it's pottery that's been broken. And they take, and to repair it, they take gold and glue it back with a gold look to it. And I really like this. And after watching Anne this morning, I've seen Lillian, I can't remember her last name, and then Natasha 
I'll do something similar with the base of the house. I don't know that I've seen this part yet, but I thought it would be very cute and it would match with my challenge. I'm a little off on my challenges right now. It's Saturday. So we're we have a day off, but you know, sometimes when you get an idea you gotta go ahead and get it. And I don't know, this might do better with my finger. I just don't know that I want it on my finger. So I'm just building it up. And then I'm going to pick it up. And I don't know, can you see right here, there's some that you might need to get. Got some right there. Yeah. And it's kind of cool too to be able to see the clear glue underneath. And I can see right here where I put the fingerprint on it. Gave it some more texture, which is a good thing to know because I can do that with the rest. And it would give it a different dimension. Okay. So now, I'm going to put this on here like this, I think. And I'm going to need a tag to go in there. Because I want to make it, let's do two and a half inch by two, two and a half by two and a half. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for something that I can use for journaling space. It wouldn't match, and then this little card will match. And it is just card stock that I've been using throughout this well, not throughout, but it's on the backs of some of this. And I don't know if I'm going to get that corner or not. So I think I need to be smaller, not just a little bit. So this is the part that I got from Lillian. Or from Ann this morning, and she made the roof and the house fit in the roof. And since this is a rugged house made of bricks, I'm just going to leave it like this. So it goes in like that. Then I need a topper that will match with this. I guess I can put this up here and then I need something darker. I do like that. So this is scrapbook paper from me. I think I like it this way. And is that going to be too big if I go? I could follow that one, but then it'll be too small. That kind of has a roof. So 
So what I want to do is I want to trim that bottom off because I don't want the straight edge right now. So this is kind of a whimsical, who knows what kind of house. And if I can come down just a little bit or how do I go up to make I think that will work. So what I'm gonna do is move this in here. I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to put over the back of it. To kind of sandwich that in between. Then I'm going to come in and tear all that too. I'm going to leave that little bit right there. I want it kind of hanging out. So there's going to be my house. Let's see. Put a little glue on the edges so I can glue it down. But then I'm going to go back with the hot glue and glue the edges to it. I'm not going to put it all the way to the bottom. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I'm going to see if I can get right there on the lot just a little because I didn't get it the first time. Okay. Yep, if you stick your fingers in there, you can give it some texture, but don't do it to these things because you will burn your fingers. So I'm going to take in. Mix this up too. So my worn and tattered little house. Okay. I'm gonna go in there and just kind of rub. That book page a little bit and put some of that gold on the book page. Got little scragglers running around. We pull them off. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with our roof? I would like to put a little bit more on the back here because it's a little. It's not as thick as I would like it for. To go in there. So that does give you two sides to journal on. If you look at this side, it reminds me of a tree. Let 
Let's look cute right now. Okay. What I was thinking somehow is that this green I put use some of the color in the in the paper. This way, oh, that looks funny. I like it this way. Put this on it. Maybe put that one over there and this one over here. I do like that, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I'm going to take a little bit off of this, so it will go that way. It's going to fit right in there pretty good. That might be. Yep, I do like that. Do want to give it a little more structure in the back there. So let me see. So I'm trying to see, I see a little bit of it coming off. So I want a little bit more down here at the bottom to kind of bring that in. I like that actually. I'm going to have to line this in lace on it, but 
I'm just taking some little pieces and sticking them in there for the background. Almost could be throwaway pieces, but I like this gold on it. Then I can put my door down there where I wanted the door to help. I have some vellum that might look good as a windows. Like a vellum curtain window. And then it even show up. So this wax works good on the edges. Put that crooked window right there. Another crooked window right there. Might as well go ahead and do one more little piece. I don't know what I'm going to do. I like the dimension of this paper, how it's, I'm able to, and it's just scrapbook paper. Okay, so there is my Kenzuti house, but I do want to put my blade on. Where do I want to put some? I put it right there. I do want it to. Let me put that one up there. So I'm trying to use my bigger one. Although I do have my smaller one on that one. So I'm thinking, do I need anything else? I'm gonna look good with the label or something. I think looks pretty good. I like that. So this is my Kenzitsu house with the pull away writing spot, journaling spot. It was really fun to make. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.